You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. We're going to be talking to our first guest now in the studio, Lloyd. He's going to be telling us all about Workshop 34. Firstly, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for having me. It's good to be on the Isle of Sheppey. I've never been to the island before at all. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's a nice place. <laughs> yes, I've only seen it in the dark so far. Well, I was hoping you could perhaps give us a little bit of uh, an introduction <coughs> uh, about yourself just to start mm -hmm. things off. Well, I'm an artist and uh, entrepreneur, uh, a writer, photographer, all sorts of, do all sorts of things. Um, but I've run a, a, a series of... Um, pop-up shops and empty shops with my uh, business partner Dan Thompson um, and uh, I've also done lots of other collaborative things so I'm very interested in how people work together uh, and how, how communities form around uh, interesting stuff especially around art. So you're here this evening to talk about workshop uh, 34 so mm. what exactly is it? Well it's uh, it, very simply it's a shop um, but it's a shop, it's a pop-up shop in Sittingbourne High Street, number 34. Um, but it's a shop where we also have working space. So people can come and work in the upstairs space we've got. It, we've got offices. Um, they can also work in the shop. Uh, and then they can sell the stuff that they've made in the shop. Um, at the moment, we've got a, we've got a, a range of... Um, painters, ceramicists, um, all sorts of different artists, local artists, who have uh, brought in work to sell. Um, but we're expanding all the time into... Um, uh, we're, we're doing some workshops, we're um, getting all sorts of other people in. We're, we're here to support people in the creative industries. So uh, anything that comes under that label of creative counts. I was wondering next if you could let us know a little bit about who's involved. Well, it's um, it's the 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 whole project is funded by uh, King County Council. Uh, I'll maybe talk about that in a, in a, in a bit. But um, we uh, we have in the shop at the moment um, a number of people from Swale Arts Forum. Um, Dean Tweedy from Marvellous Murals, he came along uh, to one of our coffee mornings very early on, in, at the end of November, uh, and we were still thinking about what we might have in the shop, um, and I said it'd be nice if we could get some art in, and Dean said leave it to me, and he went off and got um, all his friends from locally and in, in, around Sittingbourne and on Sheppey to bring uh, bits of art in to, uh, to sell. So we've got um, we've got painters, we have um, ceramicists. Beth Lanning and uh, Laurie Harpham are both uh, from the island. They they uh, they've got some lovely work in there. Um, we've got people with kind of crafty stuffed animals. Um, we've got some handbags just come in and some woolly hats and things like that. Um, and then then we've got um, all sorts of stuff made out of wood from uh, recycled wood um people working with that we, we really do have a um a, an enormous range and, and it's um it's it's really anything that can be termed as creative within within Sittingbourne so um i'm really daring people to bring stuff along and um and sell it if if they've made it and they want to put a price tag on it and and sell it then uh, we're very happy to have a go so how did it uh, all come about well as i say it's funded by um king county council and swell borough council um f from uh, uh some eu money um so people are quite skeptical about the european union often about about where that all that money seems to go um but actually that money's coming back into our community here uh, and being used to regenerate high streets especially um as part of a project called the recreate project so um recreate is about opening up uh buildings and um and spaces that have been closed for a while um 
regenerating the high street, bringing different sorts of retail and different sorts of cultural activities back into high streets. Um, so uh, we were commissioned as part of that, that project to open up Workshop 34 in, in Sittingbourne High Street because it's one of those high streets in the southeast of England that is has has been neglected as people have left it shops have left it a lot of the you'll you'll know a lot a lot of the um the shops in the high street are boarded up um and have been for quite some time and um so you know that that's that's what it's there for it's there it's there to regenerate that especially that end of the high street because the top end of the t up, up at the top of the hill um up where the forum center is is quite well developed and there are, there's lots going on there but as you get further down um down the hill the older the older buildings there 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 are fewer um things there and we've actually brightened up that end of the high street quite a lot uh, our neighbours over the road are very pleased indeed that we're there because they were looking at a horrible empty shop for uh, for many years. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what we're doing. I was hoping next you could let us know a little bit about uh, why uh, it is important. Well, I think it's I think it's really important that we re regenerate our high streets. Um, they're really important places uh, for people to come together and not just spend money in chains um although obviously i spend you know i spend lots of money myself in chain shops uh it's really i think it's really good for the community to have independent shops um selling locally produced goods so i think that's that's one good thing i think i i also think that it's good for people to uh, express their creativity um an awful lot of people find themselves um not you know stopped from doing things like that uh, after school um people do we have lots and lots of people come into the into the shop and say and i ask them if they make anything and they say oh well i used to really enjoy doing this at school but i haven't done anything since then because i went off and worked in a bank or you know worked in a in, in a in a shoe shop or something so um I think I think that's really important too that we help people exercise their creativity, um, and we can do that in lots of different ways. Uh, we're running workshops to help people um, get back into doing those kinds of things, but we're also helping people who have made stuff themselves to sell it. And uh, there's something um, really nice. I mean, it's it's just lovely when we sell something of somebody's um, and we get. To Give them a call and say um, it's gone. Uh, come and get the, come and get your money. So, uh, what's uh, coming up then? Well, we the the project is only really funded till the end of March, so we're we're quite tight now. We've got another ten weeks or so. Um, it may go on from then. We, we you know we, we we we're being reviewed and we'll we'll uh, we may be able to extend the project a little bit but uh but the official cut off date is the end of march so uh the main things we're trying to do at the moment is get more workshops going so we have people doing a uh, uh textiles um kind of needlework and applique and those kinds of things we have people doing screen printing workshops um we have a lady doing um teaching people how to make clay flowers she makes flowers out of clay they are they're beautiful they're in the they're in the shop window at the moment you can you can see them and she's teaching people how to do that um we've got somebody doing some basic drawing skills we've got somebody doing uh some photography uh, cameraless photography so um photograms and that kind of thing um and so those are all those are all great but we'd love to do some more um i'm not running things necessarily myself i'm looking for people to run workshops as much as i'm looking for people to come along to workshops um so we could we could do with some more of those um i'm also keen to encourage people to work in the space so we have one business that is permanently resident there at the moment um i'd like to have nine or ten um i'd like to have people working there all the time so uh i'm particularly keen on people who are maybe freelancers who are working at their kitchen table or working in their 
bedroom at the moment um, don't think they can afford to have a space in the high street but would like to try it out I'd love to have them along in the shop and 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 give them the chance to to try something um, we've got a couple of exhibitions coming up so we've got uh, we have the the youth arts festival from Sheppey um, they're bringing their exhibition which is showing shortly here I think they're going to bring it uh, down to Sittingbourne when it's finished um, and the first two weeks of February we've got a um, an exhibition that's all about love so um, in with Valentine's Day um, we have uh, an exhibition that starts at the beginning of February and we're asking people to to, to put in um, any work that they that they can about that's basically around love and um whatever whatever love brings up for them sometimes it's positive most of the time it's positive sometimes it's a bit negative but um you know we we hope that we can that we can spread some love around sitting born too who supports you then well we, we get basic financial support from uh, from the recreate project um but that just pays to keep the place open and to keep me there for uh, for the time being um we rely on uh, vo- and enjoy working with volunteers um so all the people who are working in the shop are volunteers um and they are getting uh, all sorts of different things out of being there some of them are um kind of swapping that that volunteering time for time that they use upstairs and do doing projects and those kinds of things um other people are selling their work in the shop other people are um using the time in the shop to publicize the fact that they're doing workshops and all those kinds of things other people just like to be in a shop because it's really nice to be in the high street and meet lots of different people so um we're we're very keen on on having more and more volunteers along um the more volunteers we have the longer i can keep the shop open during the day and uh, and hopefully at weekends too um it's also very important for me part of the project is to build a community around um art and creativity um, and it gives it that it gives us a focus for doing that um, it's sometimes difficult to create just create community out of thin air but if you've got a focus focal point where people can meet and um, work together that's uh, that's really helpful so yeah and um, and people like you support us by um, by giving us some some nice PR uh, inviting me on the show it's very kind of you to do so I know thank you for for coming along um, I was hoping you could let our listeners know if they would like to get involved or how people can get involved mm. well the the easiest the best thing for from my point of view is to just come into the shop um, that's one of the great things about being on the high street is we can just invite people to come in, uh, say hello, um, see what kinds of things they'd like to do and um, talk about the kinds of things that they've done and whether there's anything they want to sell or anything they want to do. Um, we, we've a uh, very strong Facebook presence. Um, we found that the people uh, we wanted to be talking to were very strong on Facebook already when, when we when we started up and so um, the Facebook page is a good place to get an idea of what's going on as well so that's um, it's called Sitting Bourne Workshop um, and I'll, I'm sure you've got a link yeah. um, um, so yeah uh, I think so I think that's uh, I think that's probably about it it's um, come, come and see us or visit us online and talk to us online I mean we're uh, I uh, the, uh, Dean Tweedy and I both run the Facebook page um, and uh, if you've got any questions that's a good place first place to start well, I'd like to thank you very much for coming along and telling listeners all about what you do at uh, Workshop 34 thank you Daniel